Uh, hi, I'm Luz. I'm a sophomore at Millard South. Sailor um, And this is my poem, The Story of a Theory of an Artistic Colony. Welcome to my artistic colony, which is far from a fairy tale, but far from a horror story of great beasts and little things. Let me take you into the kitchen where we see a group of creatures preparing the main meal. We see a planty being preparing meats with grace and serenity. Look at how he brings together the flavors of saffron and pineapple. Beside him, we watch a bit of a shorter man as he runs around the bowl preparing grain to match. Do you see how much effort he takes in this simple job? Mm -hmm. Squatting beside is a giant bearing scars of blood, only to observe. Please avoid staring at him directly. It scares him, very much so. <laughs> Three argue about meaningless things in an undisturbed corner. A knight of thorns, a man covered in riches, and a being with a displeasure of clothing. I don't blame him myself. Don't you see how they bicker? A shadow demon crawls around the cabinets with anger. Can't you see the smoke crawling down from the cabinets? In the main room, an informational nerd rests from getting and organizing what's new. What do you wonder what goes through her head through her sleep? Across the room lays a homicidal man who needs little reason for vengeance. Can't you see how he paints the scenes in red? Over to the pantry we find some critters of varying types helping those in the kitchen to prepare the most stressful meal of the day. Watch as they scurry about. Look at the violet walls, how they match the dark oak cabinets, how they match the marble tops. This is repeated every single day without fail, and I can only say that this is my mental colony. One of which I can see, but others can't. They won't ever see. <laughs> and I will always struggle to understand why them, here, now, and me. And what about my future, health, the people who care for me, my goals and aspirations? We are all pieces to some supposed puzzle. Where do we sit? What is our purpose and why are we here? What am I supposed to say to the others in my life? Do I tell them what they say, what they think, what they do, and what they feel? I know that they aren't real, a defensive mechanism from certain traumas of the past, but yet I can't help, I still feel their pain, pleasure, joy, sadness, the good, bad days. I still hear them every day, but yet I still let them know, let them out, let them feel the leaves under my feet, the warmth of those close the summer winds, the winter coca, the fall scents, the summer rains, the pleasure and dreams, the fears and nightmares. We thrive, and they thrive here. Woo!